one year pro back in effect elizabeth new jersey we're back at the dunn big shout out to tom lewis kevin tenpenny Dunya county interscholastic 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 athletic conference big shout out to all my ags in union county y'all the real mvps so we're under five minutes from tip off. We got Mike Slide doing the PA today. And we're gonna step aside. We're gonna hear a word from my sponsors because they got they pay the bills around here. Alright, we'll be right back.
senior number 13, Brett Cologne. A senior number 22, Wes Hellings. And finally, a sophomore number 23, Jake Easton. And now for the one seed, Roselle Catholic Lions, coached by Dave Paul. A senior, number zero, Sebastian Robinson. A senior, number three, Christian Pierre Louis. A senior, number four, Simeon Wilcher. A junior, number 13, Rich Briscoe. And a senior, number 23, Akil Watson. Welcome to the Dunn Center for a Union County Tournament quarterfinal matchup between the Nide Seed Summit and the one seed Roselle Catholic. Michael Cerrotti with you on the NFHS Network. Brought to you by D1 Media Pro. Roselle Catholic gets us started as Akeel Watson gets the bucket from inside. Three off the mark from Brett Cologne, but the Hilltoppers get it back for another opportunity. Again, Summit, coached by Tim Simo. The nine seed in the county tournament, Roselle Catholic is the one, although they have not played any county games so far this season. I think they're boycotting Union County. Akeel Watson with the takeaway. Leading the charge, going one on two and laying it in. Four points early for the Arizona State signee, Akeel Watson. Summit breaks the RC press, but a three is short from Jake Easton. Robinson trying a long three and knocking it down. Sebastian Robinson is used to this court. He played three years or two years at Elizabeth where he averaged over 20 points per game in his junior year. Miles Blackley trying to answer left the three short. The follow also no good from Cologne. Early this, uh, well, Sebastian Robinson is 97 points away from 1,000. So 94 after the three. Akeel Watson gets into the paint and floats it up and in. Hot start for Roselle Catholic. They lead it 9 0. Akeel's on his way to 1,000 too. Akeel Watson in his second year at Roselle Catholic. Him and his brother Tariq transferred from Don Bosco Prep and made immediate impacts, and they continue those impacts. Tariq Watson, normally a starter, is not playing. He hasn't played in about two weeks after he collapsed in a game against Long Island Lutheran. He is doing well. He's moving and talking great, and we're glad Tariq is okay. Sebastian Robinson knocks down another deep right wing three. 
91 points to work. Nice backdoor cut, but Brett Cologne missed everything on the runner. And then Rich Briscoe stepped out of bounds as he got the rebound. Easton over to Blackley. Summit swinging it around. Justice working on Pierre Louis. Hilltopper's not able to find anything. This possession lasting more than 30 seconds already. No shot clock in New Jersey though, so not in any hurry. And the three goes down for Brett Cologne. Time well spent for Summit as it results in three points. Well, as a team, Summit know, know they may be outmatched, so they, they, may, they, may, ah, they may try to take some air out the ball. Wiltshire trying to get it up ahead to Briscoe. It goes out of bounds, will stay with RC. This is the first of four quarterfinal matchups today. Up next is Union Catholic and Westfield. Robinson, left that one short. Pierre Louis, the offensive rebound and the putback. Inside, working on Watson, the reverse layup, no good from Hellings. Wiltshire pushing it up ahead. The lay-in falls with the left hand and a chance at three for Simeon Wiltshire. Making it look too easy. The North Carolina commit going to the line for one shot. The freshman Jalen Grant checks into the game for the first time. Wiltshire off on the free throw. Justice gets it to the corner. Cologne wide open. Off the heel, out of bounds. Back to Roselle Catholic as it was last touched by Hellings. Into the game for Summit is the sophomore David Fix. Side three to play here in the first quarter. Ten point lead for Roselle Catholic early. Wiltshire is fouled on the floor. It'll be a baseline inbound for Roselle Catholic. Watson, inbounds to Robinson. Gives it, right wing three for Grant Falls. Jalen Grant just checked into the game and the freshman hits the deep three. Roselle Catholic has it going early from distance. Blackley trying to do the same for Summit. And he does, Miles Blackley, the four star sophomore. We got four stars in Summit. Blackley, the sophomore, has offers from Fairley Dickinson, Radford, and Providence. Ellings thought his teammate would be there to pick up the ball. Nobody there for Summit. It results in a fast break for RC but Robinson missed it. 
Lions will get it on the baseline as Ethan Mbako replaces Rich Briscoe. Again, Mackenzie Mbako still out with an ankle injury. His younger brother Ethan, the freshman, into the game for RC. Mackenzie, the senior, is committed to play at Duke. Hey, one thing I will say, Summit, they travel well. A lot Wilkers, of fans support. Long three from Wilker spun out. In the corner, Justice. Blackley trying another three, this time off the front of the rim. Wilcher pulls down the rebound. Grant, extra pass. Robinson gets into the paint and spins it in with the left hand. Robinson has eight points already. He might be going for a career night. Robinson, the pass up ahead to Wilcher for the left-handed one-hand jam. Nice pass on that last possession from Sebastian Robinson. Led Wilcher perfectly, and he threw it down with the offhand. 44 seconds to play in the first quarter. Roselle Catholic with a 14-point lead. Blackley traveled. It's always a tough task when Christian Pierre-Louis is guarding you to find any sort of offense. His job is to make you feel uncomfortable. Robinson thought about another one. Pierre Louis dumps to Mbako. Robinson tries the three, missed everything. Rebound from Easton, and Summit will slow down and take one shot with 10 seconds left. Will they even be able to get a shot off though? Ethan Mbako took it away, but lost it out of bounds. Six seconds left, Summit basketball. Easton to the corner, Cologne tries it, he missed it. And at the end of one quarter, Roselle Catholic 23, Summit 9. A fast-paced game so far in the Union County quarterfinal matchup between Roselle Catholic and Summit. Back for the second quarter here at the Dunn Center in the first of four Union County quarterfinal matchups. Roselle Catholic with a 23-9 lead over Summit to begin the second quarter as a foul is called on Jalen Grant. The young freshman, I believe that's his second. And Jalen Grant just picked up his second foul. Justice, extra pass, and Cologne knocks it down from the corner. RC pushes it up ahead quickly. Watson, back to Wilcher. And a foul is called as Akeel Watson 
is turning all over the place. Cologne is whistled. That's a good job by Cologne by staying with him, though. Not giving him anything easy, making him work for it. Pierre Louis gives inside to Watson. Back outside to Pierre Louis, who threw it away. Blackley pushing it up ahead, and he's fouled by Wilcher. Simeon Wilcher is on the sideline changing his uniform. Or no, he's putting on the undershirt now. That's usually what Simeon Wilcher likes to rock, and now he's back to his usual ways. Oh, yeah, they had they had some uh, wardrobe issues before the game. Yeah, Roselle Catholic didn't have their uniforms to warm up in as it goes out of bounds, and it's back to Roselle Catholic. Rich Briscoe. Sebastian Robinson check back in. Mbako and Grant come out. I think Coach Bob's going to let me take the uniforms from now on since I'm here before everyone else. Welcher in the corner. Pierre Louis left alone too strong on the three. Blackley, defended by Watson. In the corner, Cologne. Summit has been in no hurry. Cologne trying another three. He's been hot so far for the Hilltoppers. Couldn't get it that time. Wilcher tries it in transition off the mark. to the elbow, Briscoe pulls down the rebound. All the way up to Wilcher, he got it poked away. David Fix got his hand in it as Wilcher tried to get it around him. Back in is Wesley Hellings for Summit. Floats it in. Akil Watson had those first four points for RC and then went quiet after that as Justice and Blackley have a miscommunication and Roselle Catholic gets it right back. Wilcher. Side for Briscoe, the kick. Robinson is fouled on the three, and he's headed to the line. Robinson cashes in on the first of three. Good for Sebastian Robinson, the senior, transferred from Elizabeth. He is used to this gym. Averaged over 20 points a game as a junior at Elizabeth. And Robinson making his push for 1,000 points. As he's less than 90 away from the milestone. He has about 10 on a day so far, right? Sebastian Robinson with 10 points after those two free throws. He hit two long threes from the right wing, basically the same spot on both of them. Ooh. 
banked in from the free throw line by Wesley Hellings. Pierre Louis offensive rebound. Wilcher now with it in the corner. Tough pull up jumper is off and Blackley controls it for Summit. and down from David Fix and the Summit student section that made the trip is loving it. Watson down low silences the crowd. Summit trying to hang around though. The nine seated Hilltoppers doing their best. Blackley tries a three, it rims out. Pierre Louis pushing it. Oh! Rhymes up, rejected by Blackley. Blackley open in the corner, drives baseline on Briscoe, gets in the paint, and he's blocked. Open in the corner, fix, got another one from deep. Two straight threes for David Fix. Yo, this and is a gritty summit team, man. I like this team. The Hilltoppers have pulled this one back within single digits. Robinson, he's had the hot hand from three. Wilcher cross court to Watson, double team down low. Back out, Wilcher wide open, got it from deep, and he has something to say to the Summit student section after it. Timeout taken, Roselle Catholic 32, Summit 20, but the Hilltoppers doing what they can to hang around. They hate when you elevate. The second of losses, I'm handing them out. Yeah, I had to go delegate. They feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment. I swear I could levitate. They never believed that I would really fly. I had to go demonstrate. I had to set them straight. They hate when you elevate. Elevate, elevate. They hate when you elevate. Yeah. I had to elevate. I'm way, y'all. Way too fly. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling. Oh, stop. Back live in the Dunn Center. Roselle Catholic with a 12 point lead over Summit. The Hilltoppers are hanging around though and Simeon Wilcher right now is talking to the Summit student section. Hey, li listen man, six man could, could, could be a big advantage. Shout out to the summer student section. I love a good student section. Is the Westfield student section coming next year? We'll see what kind of fans Westfield and Union Catholic bring. That should be a great game. Hey, that's the four seed and the five seed squaring off. Union Catholic the four, Westfield the five. Blackley a deep three, off the back of the iron, Justice pulls down the long rebound. 30 second timeout. A timeout called by Tim Simo, and we'll step aside as well. They score! Lloyd attacking and throws it down! Touchdown for St. Peter's! I'm here with Darren Lewis with Simeon Wilcher. Here with Preston Archua. It's about doing overtime. Yeah, it's about doing overtime. Just over two minutes remaining before halftime. Roselle Catholic with a 12 point lead over Summit. It's Hilltopper basketball. 
Now, if I'm some, if I want to stay in this game, you got to value every possession. You got to take quality shots and take care of the ball. Yeah, Summit's done a good job limiting turnovers for the most part today, but still a few errors and miscommunication so far. Blackley, that's a deep three off the mark. A nice rebound by Fix. It rattles out, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Very David Fix is doing all he can to keep Summit in this one. Yeah, I'm very impressed with this team. Very scrappy, very gritty team, man. They could play in North Public Schools, man. Summit, Summit is about this life. Now, we got to make those, though. We got to make these foul shots. All buckets matter. Yeah, against a team like Roselle Catholic, every point counts. Fix one for two at the line. And the other problem that Summit is facing when you play a team like this is getting stops. So much talent on the offensive side for Roselle Catholic. Well, they got to stay disciplined, stay in their 2-3 zone. You know, and try to force Roselle Catholic into mistakes. Easier said than done. Roselle Catholic has had it going from deep. Summit has done a lot of this down low. All these double teams. But a rebound by Rich Briscoe gets him two points. They don't, Summit doing all they can. Now. you got to give it up to them. It's a problem that many teams face when playing Roselle Catholic is keeping them off the offensive glass. Good pass. Fix lost control of it. Grant takes it away. Wilcher skips it over to Briscoe for two. Inside a minute to play in the second quarter. Cologne threw it away to Wilcher. Simeon Wilcher pushing the pace and he lays it in with the left hand. Justice on the right wing. Cologne tries a three and hits it. He had no second thoughts about pulling the trigger on that one. Caught it and put it up all in one motion. Ten seconds left. Wilcher backs it up. Roselle Catholic will hold for one. Wilcher with five. Gives it over to Watson at the buzzer. Off the mark and we reach halftime. At the break, it's a 14-point lead for Roselle Catholic, 38-24 to over Summit. Again, this is the first of four quarterfinal matchups here at the Dunn Center today. Roselle Catholic heading into the locker room with a 14-point lead on D1 Media Pro.
You can see the future of the Duke and North Carolina rivalry on D1 Media Pro. There you see Hubert Davis, head coach of North Carolina, here to see Simeon We're looking live right there at a trio of Duke basketball coaches, John Shire, Nolan Smith, Emil Jefferson. On clock now at 12, kicks it in the corner, Lively for three, got it! Derek Lively, a corner three in an early third quarter. As he'll look to go off the dribble here, goes right around Lively, and he gets the roll. Inbounds to Wilcher. A step back, fade away, through contact. Simeon Wilcher. He's out for Mbako. He'll try one from beyond the arc. And Mackenzie Mbako is on fire to start this one. Attacking and throws it down! Touchdown for St. Peter's! I'm here with Darren Lewis with Simeon Wilcher. Here with Precious Achua. It's about doing This high school gym used to be packed most nights. Not anymore. Do you know why? Because bad behavior by fans, especially adults, has caused a shortage of game officials across the country. You see, without officials, we can't have sports. Don't let this become reality. It's time for a change. Let's bench bad behavior for good.
Throw rates are pretty good, man. Back for the second half here at the Dunn Center. At the break, Roselle Catholic with a 14-point lead over Summit. The one-seeded Lions have had it all going as they have all season long. Summit, the nine seed, they hung in there. It's always a tough team to play going up against RC, but the Hilltoppers doing what they can to stay in this game. It's the first of four quarterfinal games. Today, up next, the four seed Union Catholic and the five seed Westfield. Second half gets underway, Roselle Catholic basketball. You know, with that being said, some is always a top program, athletic program for the public schools anyway. Lacrosse, football, they're pretty good on everything. Rich Briscoe starts the second half with an easy putback lay-in. Justice trying to shake Wilcher. Watson and Wilcher combined for the steal. Simeon Wilcher just missed the dunk. He tried to go up with the left hand, and he missed it. And the and student section let him hear about it. Oh, yeah, the Summit students are yelling all sorts of things at Simeon Wilcher. A rare sight for him to miss a dunk. They're keeping it clean, though, so, you know, shout out to the student section. Robinson knocks it down from the corner. Three points is better than two. Deep three is off from Easton, and Pierre Louis gets the rebound. Robinson almost had another three. That would have been his fourth of the game. Cologne has his three spin out, and then Blackley had it tipped out of bounds as he tried to go back up with it. Blackley missed another three. Watson gives it up ahead to Wilcher. Gets to the basket and is fouled. Blackley, what year is he? Miles Blackley is a sophomore, the four-star recruit. Okay. Still got time to progress his game. On three, ranks him as the number 49 sophomore in America. Wilcher, good on the first free throw. Lead is 20 for Roselle Catholic. Cross court pass to fix. Back over to Easton. Straight on three, missed by Blackley. Wilcher taking it up himself. Robinson inside for Briscoe in the post, he's fouled. Frisco two for two. The big man cashing in at the line. 23 point lead for RC. Wilcher the give to Pierre Louis. And he soars in for the layup. Justice and Blackley passing it back and forth. 
Fix tries it from the corner. Watson with the rebound, a baseball pass to Briscoe, who lays it in. Roselle Catholic has opened this half on a 13-0 run. Blackley trying to end the run. He can't. Fix got the rebound. Watson blocked it. Nice pass. Blackley cutting to the rim. But good defense by RC. He should have went for the hammer. Robinson has it rejected to the corner for Wilcher. The double team comes and Wilcher backs it out. Watson gets into the paint and lays it in. What a start for the Lions in the second half. It's a 15-0 run. That must have been one half-time speech by Coach Boff. Blackley to fix. Had trouble with it. He saved it from going out of bounds. Justice defended by Briscoe. Watson steps in, almost had a takeaway, but instead it's a foul. Goes against Rich Briscoe as Grant and Mbako come back in. Pierre Louis and Briscoe come out. A 29 point game already. It felt a lot closer. It was only 14 at halftime, but Roselle Catholic has opened this game up since coming out of the locker room. Now, Mike, one thing I've seen this year, they, they've instituted a running clock. We don't have a shot clock in Jersey, but we have a running clock. So when the, when the league goes to 30 and above, they institute a running clock, which I like because I like leaving early. Blackley finally stops the Roselle Catholic run and a timeout taken immediately by Tim Simo. We'll take a break. Summit finally stops the bleeding, but it's still 53-27 Roselle Catholic with the lead. You can see the future of the Duke and North Carolina rivalry on D1 Media Pro. There you see Hubert Davis, head coach of North Carolina here to see Simeon Will. Looking live right there at a trio of Duke basketball coaches, John Shire, Nolan Smith, Emil Jefferson. On clock now at 12, kicks it in the corner. Lively for three, got it. Derek Lively, a corner three in an early third quarter. Has to look to go off the dribble here, goes right around Lively and he gets the roll. Inbounds to Wilcher. A step back, fade away, through contact. Simeon Wilcher, he's out for Mbako. He'll try one from beyond the arc. And Mackenzie Mbako is on fire to start this one. Out of the timeout. It's a big Roselle Catholic lead, but Miles Blackley finally stopped the run. It was 15-0 to begin the second half. Still a big lead, though, for RC. It's 26. The Hilltoppers hung around for a while, but RC starting to show off their power as Sebastian Robinson lays it in. has his three-pointer blocked by Wilcher, and it goes back to the Lions. Pierre-Louis in for RC, Cologne in for Summit. Pierre-Louis.
Robinson. Extra pass to Grant. Short on the three, tipped around, and Baco takes it away from Blackley. Pierre-Louis splits the defense and lays it in. That's a nice move from Christian Pierre-Louis, and the lead is 30. Going to his bag of tricks. Malone steps into it. Grant pulls it down off the rim. Wilcher lines up a deep one. Justice, Cologne in the corner. He had it going in the first half. Jalen Grant ahead of the pack with the left hand. Cologne. That's a nice oh. play and a nice oh. play in. Wesley Hillings. It's not easy to get around Christian Pierre-Louis, and he did it. Justice gives it right back to him, but Jake Easton can't convert down low. Five on four as Easton's slow to get back. Grant can't make the Hilltoppers pay, and neither can Mbako on the follow. Three missed shots from RC, and bodies fly out of bounds back to the Hilltoppers. Ethan Mbako, give him an Ethan effort. The clock is still running. The lead is 30, so it looks like they have started running, to run the run, clock. Running clock. Told you. No shot clock, but we get a running clock in Jersey. Five seconds left for Summit. Wilcher takes it away. He's got to go quick, and he does. Count it. Simeon Wilcher, the left-handed flush to beat the third quarter buzzer. It's 61-29, Roselle Catholic, with eight minutes left. We'll step aside the fourth quarter after this. What? Come on, Are you blind? Oh, come on. Oh, what a bad call. Oh, you whistle. You have no business being out there. You know, I'm a person too. Back for the fourth quarter. It'll be a running clock with eight minutes left. Roselle Catholic with a 61-29 lead over Summit. The top-seeded Lions showing why they're ranked number one in New Jersey. Summit hung in there for a while, but RC was too much to handle. Nah, but I'm, I'm impressed by the summer team. Like they're very, they're still very well coached. There's certain things I, I look for and I see in the team. The five seed Westfield will take on the four seed Union Catholic. Tip off at 1:30. I think that's not that might be the game of the day. Christian Pierre Louis called for the foul. Thought he had a clean takeaway. Clock is running for the remainder of the game. It'll only stop on timeouts. But that, 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 that this might be the best rule they implemented in New Jersey. Hellings cashes in from the elbow. Oh, 
foul is called as the tried to get it to Watson down low. Whistle goes against Hellings. Into the game for Summit is Trip Johnston. Screen called against Pierre Louis. It goes back to Summit. They said Christian gave him the business on that screen, so call for the foul. Going baseline, Malone Ooh. lays it in. Like, like I said, these, this, Summit has some talent. Cologne and Blakely, they're going to be a problem in, for the future. Down low and count it. Christian Pierre Louis at the free throw line. He just started doing the Roselle Catholic cheerleading routine. Good on the three-point play, and Christian Pierre-Louis heads to the bench. Actually, co uh, the principal, Tom Berrios, is the acting Chilean coach today. So, you know, he, he wears multiple hats at Rosa Catholic. Maybe he's recruiting Pierre-Louis to the cheerleading team. He's one of those guys that is just always dancing on the court, on the sidelines. Christian Pierre-Louis is just moving all the time, loves to dance. And he's got a reason to, as Roselle Catholic has a 31-point lead. But cutting into that, on the other end, it's Cologne. No quit in the Hilltoppers. Rich Briscoe. No relation to Isaiah. Cologne got it from the corner. Brent Cologne cannot miss today for Summit. Oh, what year is Cologne in? Cologne is a senior, and he'll be missing his scoring next year. Hey, but maybe some college will pick him up and he may find a home. Hopefully he stays in the end jack. Hellings rejected by Briscoe. Brent, free throw line jumper falls. Samir Basden will check in at the next whistle for Roselle Catholic, along with many others for both teams. Kenny Mao, baseline floater short. A lot of subs enter for both teams. I'll try to keep track of who enters and who comes out. On the floor for Summit, it's Blackley, Jake Penner, Jake Easton, Trip Johnston, and David Fix. For Roselle Catholic, it's Kenny Mao, Ethan Mbaco, Jaden Chichester, Jalen Maldonado, and Tamir Basden. Maldonado tries a three, too strong. Chichester gets the rebound and puts it in for two. Down low, Jake Easton, the sophomore. 
These Roosevelt Catholic chilies, they're louder than any student section I've ever seen. Yeah, Roselle Catholic typically has no student section, but the cheerleaders make up for it as Jalen Maldonado knocks it down from deep. Ethan Mbako checks out. Kadar Scott enters. Fix, short on the three. Another opportunity for Summit and a foul down low. Inside a minute remaining and these free throws might take the rest of the game. Good on the first, Gavin Armstrong at the stripe. Two for two is Armstrong. 30 seconds left in the game. Then they may hold the ball. Now, out to Maldonado. Puts it up. Short, 15 seconds. We'll see if Summit continues to score. It's a three. Off the mark from Anderson. Wool, a kick, and that will do it. The final score, Roselle Catholic 75, Summit 44. The Hilltoppers hung around in the first half. But the top-seeded Lions, too much to handle in the second. They opened it on a 15-0 run, and they close it out with a 31-point lead. RC moves on in the Union County Tournament. They'll face the winner of Union Catholic and Westfield, which is coming up next from the Dunn Center. We have that game for you on the NFHS Network, brought to you by D1 Media Pro for Mustafa Hooten. I'm Michael Cerrotti. Roselle Catholic with a 31-point lead over Summit. Westfield and Union Catholic up next.